So today we're going to cover the topic about how Mandarin people talk to each other in a small talk. So today I'm going to teach you how to make small talk with Mandarin speaking people, with Taiwanese people, with Chinese people. For the first part, I'm going to give you a formal way of how we greet and say hi and have small talks with each other. So, if you don't know the person and you're a stranger or you're not really familiar with the person, the best thing to say to someone is 你好，你好。So ni hao is kind of formal. So when I'm saying to my student, when I agree with my student, I say ni hao because I consider that teacher-student relationship is kind of formal or workplace. You could say ni hao. If that person is your teacher, you could say 老师好，老师，老师好。Teacher good means hi, teacher in a formal way. 老师好。老师好 Let's talk about more casual way. You can say hello, just like in English. Hello, hello. If it's in the morning, you can say 早早 means morning. 早 or 早安早安早安 or 早上好早上好 People in Taiwan tend to say 早安，早安 or 早，早。But people in China they like to say 早上好，早上好 or 早，早。The next very common one is 吃饱了吗？吃饱了吗？吃饱 means full by eating. 吃饱了吗 ？Are you full by eating? So have you had your meal yet? 吃饱了吗 ？Remember when people greet to you and say 吃饱了吗 ？It doesn't mean they really want to know did you have your meal or are you full. It's just a casual way to say hi. So 吃饱了吗？吃饱了吗 ？Or you can put a subject there. 你吃饱了吗？ Usually, because it's a very casual situation, we would drop the subject and say 吃饱了吗？吃饱了吗？ All right. So, how to answer this question or this greeting when people say 吃饱了吗 You could simply just say 吃了你呢 Yeah, I ate. And you? 吃了你呢吃了你呢 Okay. What if you didn't eat anything? Can you say no? 我没吃饱 I didn't eat full. Uh, that's kind of weird because, okay, you can just imagine that when you say, "Hey, 吃饱了吗 And the other person say, "我没吃饱 And the person who asks you this question, he just want to say hi, and he will be like, "Uh, okay, I don't have any food." Okay. It's just like in English, you know. If you say to someone, "How are you?" If the person say, "I'm not good," you'd be very awkward, right? <laughs> okay. So same goes to 吃饱了吗 You just say 吃了你呢吃了你呢 and the other person will say 吃了 and then you can go on to your small talk if you want to. All right. Say if you are a little bit closer to your friend, what can you say next? If this friend you haven't seen in a long time, it's a long time no see. Friend, you want to say, "Hey, friend, long time no see." You could say, 好久不见，好久不见，好久不见，好久不见。Okay, that is long time no see. 好 here doesn't mean good. It means such. So such long time not see. Literally, 好久不见。I sometimes hear some of my、uh, foreign students say to their、uh, Mandarin-speaking friends, "Say long time no see, my friend. 好久不见我的朋友
Hmm, it sounds kind of weird because we just have to say 好久不见 You don't have to put my friend 我的朋友 That sounds so weird. I know I'm your friend. All right. So 好久不见 That's it. 好久不见好久不见 And after that, you can add on 你最近好吗 Like how are you recently? 你 you 最近 recently, how ma good? So how are you recently? How have you been? 你最近好吗？哎、hey, ，好久不见。你最近好吗 ？That's it. 好久不见。你最近好吗 ？Or the other way you can say 好久不见。你最近怎么样？怎么样 ？It means How's something something? It is a question word meaning how's something something. So, 好久不见，你最近怎么样 ？How are you recently? Okay, 好久不见，你最近怎么样 ？So when you ask this to the other person, it's not just like hey, what's up or hey, how are you? It's you are showing that you really want to know how's the person. Okay, so 好久不见，你最近好吗 ？And 好久不见，你最近怎么样 ？They, if you say this to、uh, the other person, they will really tell you, you know, how are they doing. Versus,、uh, if you're saying 吃饱了吗 ？The first one I just show you 吃饱了吗 ？It's just like what's up? Hey, hi, you know, 吃饱了吗 ？So you just have to say. 吃了，谢谢。You know, it's a very casually and say goodbye. You can get out of the conversation. But if you really want to know if the person is good or not, you really care about the person, and you don't want to get out of the conversation, then you could say 好久不见，你最近好吗？ Or how do you meet? You 最近怎么样 There's another more and more casual one I want to teach you is, eh. 你最近在干嘛 ？Hey, you know, hey, just like English. Hey, you know, we have a Chinese word. Hey, hey, 你最近在干嘛 ？Okay, this is super casual. Don't say that to your professor, teacher, coworker, and boss. Don't say that because 干嘛 it's kind of like what's up, but 干 this word G A N four tone means it's super casual as you can see it. So, 你最近在干嘛？你 you 最近 recently 在干嘛 ？So, what have you been up to recently? 你最近在干嘛 ？You can say that to people and friends that you can be very casual and informal with. 你最近在干嘛 ？Or a little bit formal one, you can say. 你最近在忙什么 ？What have you been busy with? 你最近在忙什么？你最近在忙什么？忙 is busy。你最近在忙什么 ？Or what have you been doing？ 你最近在做什么？你最近在做什么 ？So we could show、uh, our concern to the other person by asking， How are you recently？ 你最近好吗？ Or, 你最近在做什么 What have you been doing? 你最近在忙什么 What have you been busy? And the other person will go on and continue the conversation. Or you can go even more specifically about school and work, asking about that. So you can say, 最近工作怎么样 So of course I can drop the subject because the person know I'm talking to the other person. So. 你最近工作怎么样 ？Or 工作怎么样？最近工作怎么样？最近工作怎么样 ？So how's work recently? 最近工作怎么样？最近工作怎么样 ？How's work recently? So if you're studying, maybe the person would ask you, 最近学校怎么样？学校 me school. So how school? 最近学校怎么样？最近 recently. 最近学校怎么样 
the other break the ice conversation for Mandarin speaking people is that start saying something you have noticed changed about the person. So sometimes I hear, I heard my, not really my friend, but some people, I would say acquaintance, okay, say to me, 你最近是不是变胖了? Have you gotten fat recently? <sighs> okay, we notice the change and then we will say 你是不是变胖了? Are you or are you not? 变 means change. 胖 is heavy. Change heavy means got fat. So 你是不是变胖了? Have you gotten fat recently? So that's the other way to start a conversation, but I don't suggest you say that because some people might feel offensive. They would get hurt if you say that, even you just want to break the ice, start a conversation. If you say that to me, no, no. Okay, so I know this, this is the cultural, small talk starter conversation between Mandarin speaking people, but I don't suggest that. 你最近是不是变胖了? Or if you seen the person lose weight, you could say 你最近是不是变瘦了? Or 你是不是变瘦了? Are you or are you not getting thin? Okay, getting thinner. 你是不是 or 你最近 你是不是变瘦了? The next one is you can always talk about the weather. I think the weather is a great topic to start a conversation with. You could say 今天天气很好 The weather today is very good. 今天 today 天气 weather 很好 very good. Or you could say 今天天气 很不好. The weather today is not very good. 今天天气很不好. Or you could say, oh, 今天很冷. Today is so cold, very cold. 今天很冷. Or you could say, 今天很热, 很热, very hot. 今天很热, very hot. So to start with a conversation, by complaining about the weather, talking about the weather. Or the other one you could say, 听说明天有台风. You can start a conversation with, I heard, I heard that, 听说. So, 听说 means I heard that, da 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 da. So, 听说明天有台风. I heard tomorrow we'll have a typhoon. So, 听说明天有 have 台风, 台风 is typhoon, so I heard there's a typhoon tomorrow. 听说明天有台风, 听说明天有台风, or you can say, 听说明天会下雨, I heard that it's going to rain tomorrow. 听说明天, tomorrow, 会下雨, will rain. 听说明天会下雨, I heard that it will rain tomorrow. If you're meeting a new friend, you might be asking, where are you from? So there's a casual way to ask people, where are you from? 你是哪里人? 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 You are where people, where are you from? 你是哪里人? Or you could also ask, 你是这里人吗? Are you from here? 你是这里人吗? Here, 这里人, people, person. 你是这里人吗? Are you from here? If the person say, 对啊, yeah, 对啊, 我是这里人, I'm from here, 我是这里人, you can go on the question and ask, 你住在这里多久了? 你 住在, live in 这里 here 多久 for how long 了 has been how long 
。你住在这里多久了 ？You can replace 这里 to a specific location or the city you want to talk about. 你住在北京多久了？你住在北京多久了 ？How long have you been living in Beijing? Or you could just say 这里。你住在这里多久了 ？If this person you are talking to, the new friend you are talking to, is a local, you can definitely ask more information to this person. For example, you could say, 我刚到这里。我刚到这里。You can say, "I just arrived here." 我刚 means I just, not for so long. Just 到 is arrive. 我刚到这里。I just arrived here. 我刚到这里。这里附近有什么好吃的吗？这里附近，附近 nearby. 有什么 literally means have what? 好吃的 delicious thing. Okay, 吗 yes or no? So you're asking, is there anything good, good restaurant, anything good to eat around here? 这里附近有什么好吃的吗？这里附近有什么好吃的吗？好吃 means delicious. 这里附近有什么好吃的吗 Or you can ask the the person say, 这里附近有什么好玩的吗好玩 literally means good place, but here means fun. Is there anything fun to do around here? 这里附近有什么好玩的吗这里附近有什么好玩的吗 Or if you want to know the person deeper, you really want to get to know the person. You can say, 你平常喜欢做什么你平常平常 means uh usually. 你平常喜欢来做什么 Do what? So what do you like to do usually? What do you usually like to do? 你平常喜欢做什么 Or you can bring out what you like to do and say, 你平常打球吗 Do you play balls? 你平常打球吗 Do you play balls usually? 你平常打球吗 So you can go on your conversation. I know that I covered a lot of sentences today. If there's any sentences you don't understand grammatically, I strongly suggest you take a structure curriculum course to really level up your Chinese level. And I have a course right there in this link. You can become my student on Teachable. I offer courses like pronunciation, HSK one, two, and three courses. And also, I offer free. Monthly webinar for my students on Teachable. Also, if you want to support me and watch my video lessons, you can go to my Patreon right here to support me. Before I go, I want to give you a one last tip to practice your Mandarin Chinese. I know it's very hard when you are in a foreign land try to make friends with the locals, but According to one of my students' experience, there's a very good way that you can make friends with the local. I have a student when he was starting to learn Mandarin with me. He formed a habit. He usually goes to. He loves to drink coffee, so he usually goes to the same local coffee shop that he likes every week. Usually at the same time on weekend, either on Saturday or Sunday, he just go to the coffee shop and start talking to the coffee shop owner. Try to practice his Mandarin Chinese and say, "I just got here. I want to practice my Mandarin Chinese." And then, usually, Chinese people and Taiwanese people are very friendly. They would be so happy to practice with you、uh, in Mandarin Chinese, and in the end, what turns out is my student become friends of this coffee shop owner and other customers in the coffee shop, and they are doing language exchange in the coffee shop. 
every week. This is what you can do to build connections with the local. Of course, you can go to bars, but I don't really recommend that because going to the bar, usually foreign people go to bars not real local people not many real local people go to bars okay so if you really want to level up your mandarin chinese and practice that you should go to like a coffee shop you know once a week let the owner to get to know you and start a conversation and then try to practice mandarin with them and ask them to help you all right, that's the lesson for today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. 再见!